So good morning to you and welcome to Morning Prayer on Tuesday. It's the 19th of May today um, and it's lovely to have you with me. I've started a little bit early to give people time to find us um, and uh, so we will be ready to join in our prayers together. Do let me know the names of anyone that you would like us to pray for this week. Uh, we've uh, we started our list yesterday and uh, we'd be more than happy to add to that today um, and during the rest of this week. So um, if you would like to uh, mention the names of people who need prayer or who are on your heart today, um, then please do type their names on the screen. Our psalms today, we've got two psalms, they're short. We've got psalms 124 and 125. So if you follow in a Bible, do um, find those. And we're continuing our gospel reading in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6. So Psalms 124 and 125 and Luke chapter 6. Uh, today is a rogation day. So um, Sunday, we call it rogation Sunday. It's not really, um, it's not really such a thing. Um, but then we have three rogation days yesterday, today and tomorrow. It's the three days before Ascension Day. And uh, traditionally in church, these are days when we ask God for blessing that we ask God so it comes from the Latin rogare which means to ask um, and so these are days when we can be bold in our prayers to ask God to meet our needs and traditionally we pray for the blessing of the land and the farms the farmers the crops and the livestock and the countryside uh, but there's no reason I see some of you are in coastal places there's no reason why we can't also pray for um, the seas for those who earn a livelihood fishing um, and for the harvest of the seas as well in due course so um, feel free um, to pray your bold prayers um, today and tomorrow in the build up to um, ascension from Thursday which is um, ascension day we'll be following um, a different pattern of prayer slightly differently for thy kingdom come which is a global movement of prayer uh, which lasts for 10 days from Ascension Day to Pentecost. And we've produced, let me pick it up, um, a little prayer booklet for you. So if you'd like me to email that to you, um, then please put a message on the screen. I think most of you are regulars and I've got your email address. But if you think I haven't, do message me and I'll email this to you so that you can follow our special prayers for Thy Kingdom Come uh, from uh, Thursday for the next 10 days. So I think it's half past eight. I think it's time time we began. Um, so let us just still ourselves for a moment as we come to God in prayer this Tuesday, the 19th of May. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. as we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So we come to our psalm today. Um, there's actually, in the lectionary readings, four short psalms. So we'll do two, but if you want to do the other two later on at home, you can do. So we're going to do the first two, 100, Psalm 124, 
and 125, but you can keep going, I think, um, and do uh, Psalm 126 and 127. So these are short psalms, psalms of ascent. So these would have been psalms which um, people would have sung on their way on pilgrimages for the festivals to Jerusalem. So uh, in the Old Testament, uh, the children of Israel would have sung these songs as they saw Jerusalem approaching, as they were nearing to the great city for the Feast of Passover um, or for the other feasts that they might have been attending. So Psalm 124. If the Lord himself had not been on our side, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side when our enemies rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger burned against us. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us and the torrent gone over our soul. Over our soul would have swept the raging waters. But blessed be the Lord, who has not given us over to the prey for our teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. And Psalm 125. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but stands fast for ever. As the hills stand about Jerusalem, so the Lord stands about his people from this time forth for evermore. The scepter of wickedness shall not hold sway over the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous turn their hands to evil. Do good, O Lord, to those who trust in you, to those who are true of heart. Those who turn aside to crooked ways, the Lord shall take away with evildoers. But let there be peace upon Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And now our Gospel reading. Uh, we're continuing in Luke chapter 6 and today we begin at verse 39 so Luke 6 verse 39 Jesus also told them a parable can a blind person guide a blind person will not both fall into a pit a disciple is not above the teacher but everyone who is qualified will be like the teacher why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye but do not notice the log in your own eye. Or how can you say to your friend, friend, let me take out the speck of your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take out the log out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbour's eye. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruits. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from bramble bushes. The good person, out of the good treasure of the heart, produces good. And the evil person, out of the evil treasure, produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And do not do what I tell you. I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words and acts on them. This one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood arose, the river burst against that house, but it could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, immediately it fell, and great was the ruin of that house. Puts us in mind of the lovely family service which John and Lucy Pedley did about three weeks ago, wasn't it? About the wise and foolish builders. A lovely memory of 
a story perhaps familiar to us in childhood, but which is challenging for each one of us today, about the foundations upon which we build in these small decisions and the larger decisions that we make each day. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? And so let us come to our time of prayer together. And if you would like, do type the names of those that you would like us to pray for on the screen. I've kept the names um, from yesterday's prayers, which Lynn led, and she kindly passed me uh, the list from yesterday. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. Let us offer God our thanks for the signs of his love and goodness in the last 24 hours. For the beautiful weather, for the kindness of friends, and strangers, perhaps for something small which made your heart sing, or perhaps for something large which came to you expected or unexpected. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. This Rogation Tide, we continue to pray for our farms. We pray for the land where we live. We pray for all who have planted crops, who tend livestock, for all who live and work on our farms. We pray for all those employed in the rural and agricultural economy. We pray for those with financial worries, those who have surplus produce that they are struggling to move because of the lockdown. We pray for all those who have difficult decisions to make about their farms and about their businesses. And we pray that you will bless and anoint them by the power of your spirit with new ideas and innovation. And as the old song goes, we pray, God speed the plough, long life and success to the farmer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our fishermen, for our fishing industry and for all who are employed in the fishing industry. We pray for fishing fleets both large and small. We pray for all those who are involved in processing and selling fish when it's landed. We pray for safety. We pray for all those who again are finding their business affected by the lockdown and the closure of restaurants and the hospitality sector. We pray for our fishermen who have financial worries, for those who might, might have invested heavily in new fleet and new equipment. And again, we pray that God will, by his spirit, anoint them with innovative ideas to overcome these difficulties. We pray for all those who work for the safety of farming and fisheries. And we remember as well lifeboats and lifeboat crew. 
and all those who seek to care for those on the sea. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those working in care homes, well, and for care homes generally. So let us first lift before God all those who live in care homes, who call that place home. We pray for them in their isolation and perhaps with a sense of fear, given the spread of coronavirus in our care homes. And we pray for all those who work in care homes, we pray for cooks and cleaners and carers, for those who undertake maintenance, for those who tend gardens. We pray for those who manage homes, for those who are nurses and doctors in those places. We pray for those who coordinate ac activities. We pray for each person who is anxious and worried about their work. We pray for the families of those who are in care homes, for those who are separated from their loved ones, who are anxious and worried. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. During this season of lockdown, we pray for artists and poets, for singers and songwriters, for all those who seek to make life colourful and bright, for those who interpret the world for us through art and creativity, for those who give voice to the things which we sometimes struggle to articulate, We pray for those who are worried about the financial implications of lockdown. And we thank you for those who are able to give shape and body to the things that are on our hearts and minds through art and poetry and song. We thank you for all those who have taken to YouTube and to social media to bring perspectives, to bring joy, to speak truth and to proclaim injustice. And so we pray that God will continue to inspire the artists and the poets and the songwriters. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so this morning we also remember in our prayers those who have been on our hearts and minds. I'm aware I've missed one or two names uh, from the screen but those uh, who were added to our list yesterday uh, will go back over the screen after prayers to continue to add to the list. But we lift before God today Alandra and family, Jan, Preston, Gordon and Liz, Jude, Archie, Kate, Maya, Karen, Gail, Karen, Mark, Jackie, Clive. We remember our bereaved families, Jean and family, Jane and family, Sharon, the Taylor family, John and family. We pray for all those who are commuting to work today on public transport and we pray for their safety and we remember those who care for the dying at this difficult time. We also pray for Sam and I'll leave a moment of silence for you to continue to type names or to lift before God in your hearts those that you are concerned about this morning. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. 
Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy at this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And our collect prayer for this week. Risen Christ, by the lakeside you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to the fire of your love, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Rejoicing with God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us as we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So I wish you a happy Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow um, we've got, well, we've altered our pattern of prayer at the moment, so we're taking alternate days. So tomorrow John Pedley will be leading us in uh, Wednesday prayers, which is called Wacky Wednesday Prayers. So I don't know what he's got for us tomorrow, uh, but it will be lovely to see him and to engage in something uh, that's a bit different and something creative as we gather for prayer tomorrow. Um, do uh, email me, as I say, if you would like the booklet for Thy Kingdom Come that we've uh, produced and other resources um, that you will find. There's some website links. Um, so let me know if you would like those and I'll, I'll email you later on today. So part of uh, Thy Kingdom Come is the invitation to pray for five people for 10 days. So five people that you know. Um, so that will be in addition to the people that we're adding to our prayer list. So maybe these are people that, that were people of faith who've drifted away. Maybe they'll be people, neighbours or friends. So five people that every day you will pray for. Um, and so the invitation is that you will pray for those people for 10 days. Um, and there'll be place, a space on this booklet that you can uh, write uh, their names on. So um, it may be that you prayed for five people last week and you want to include those people. So the, the desire is that we pray for people who've drifted away from faith or who have perhaps rejected faith. So um, an intense time of praying uh, with this global movement of prayer. So I think it's going to be an exciting and encouraging time. So give that some thought. Do pray about who you should pray for, if that makes sense, during uh, those 10 days from Thursday uh, to Pentecost. And I will see you on Thursday. I think I'm next. I'm getting confused because we've changed our pattern. So it's John tomorrow, me on Thursday. And then I think it'll be John on Friday. And then, then Lynn with her alpaca prayers on Saturday, uh, which you won't be surprised to hear gets the most number of viewers. So do take care today and I will see you on Thursday. And John will see you tomorrow. <laughs>